Hey what's going on everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft Mod Showcase, and today we are doing the Farlanders mod. Now this mod basically adds a bunch of uh, cute, scary looking endermen into your Minecraft world. Some of them trade with you, some of them just want to kill you. So basically the first thing you really want to get is this Iridonium Ore. Now basically this ore can be found on all levels, and if you have 4 enchantments, we'll give you more than one. But usually we'll give you one of these little guys, Iridonium Crystals, and this is basically the Emerald for the, you know, Farlanders. And basically, you just trade with these, trade with them, and uh, you, if you put nine of them in a crafting table, you can actually make uh, these little blocks here, and they're a block of endonium, endonium. And basically, these can actually be used for beacons, actually. So basically, let's just go over all the mobs. There's actually a lot of mobs. So basically, let's just go over a few. Let's go over the friendly ones first. So the first one you're going to see around your world that are quite common are the wanderers. Now these guys have 20 health. And they have like their little knapsack there and everything. And, uh, but excuse me, <laughs> just had to take a breath from them running for a little bit. And so basically, these guys, like one for a wood pickaxe, sometimes these guys will try to rip you off. But these guys are um, pretty common, sometimes we'll give you good deals. Let's see if we can get another one. Let's beat your deal better. Okay, I guess that's a okay deal if you can't find any iron, if you only like farming, but anyway. So basically what the whole mod is based off is these little guys Farlanders. Now these guys can spawn in villages or in houses, we'll show later. And basically another thing about these guys actually, they will actually stay inside during the uh, day actually. As you can see, let's just spawn that one little guy here. Oh nope, that's the wrong guy. Let's go him. And he should try to run inside in a little bit. Like that guy actually run inside. And when it turns nighttime, oh there he goes. And they will stay inside when it's daytime. When it comes night, they will actually go out and wander and all that. So basically, another Farlander is the Elder Farlander. He has only has 15 health and he has some very expensive trades. Like, one to do for an emerald, which I guess is an okay deal. This dude, he doesn't really move that fast either. Five for 15 detector rails. So yeah, he has some pretty good trades. You can get enchantment tables. I've seen him even be able to like give uh, Ender Dragon eggs. So yeah, he gets some pretty off some pretty decent deals. So basically, some of the hostile mobs is actually um, the mo most common are the looter and the fa rebel Farlander. Now the looter is basically what he says, and he will actually go after Farlanders. And yeah, let's spawn one a little further. In fact, there's something that I actually want to show. Let's just grab this little guy here. Moving back a little bit farther. So basically this looter guy, while he's called loot, he has 30 health and not run away. When you attack him, he'll actually take the weapon. It doesn't matter what it is. And basically he'll actually attack with it for the appropriate attack damage. Okay, so the next one is called the Rebel Farlander. And he can actually drop his helmet, which we'll get to later. And he actually has a little wooden sword in his little helmet there. He has 20 health. And when he attacks you, he will actually poison you. So yeah, he actually... Um, Kind of a danger, dangerous enemy because they do spawn in groups and he actually can sometimes drop his wooden sword, but you know, who needs that crap? Okay, now they actually, both of these, the looter and the Far Rebel Farlander, actually go after Wanderers and Farlanders. So, oh, uh, I, sorry. Anyway, so who's actually to protect them? Well, it's actually the Ender Guardian and the Ender Golem. Now, these guys will actually attack you and it doesn't matter, and I've actually tried wearing a pumpkin, they will still attack you. So basically, let's just, um, let's see, uh, looters actually go after wanderers also, do they? Uh, do they? Maybe not. But basically, these ender guardians will actually spawn in these villages and try to protect you. I mean, try to protect the farlanders. So yeah, so here, they only do like a most hard damage. So yeah, unless a couple of them group up on you. Yeah. So anyway, these guys spawn about five of them pure, pure village. And yeah, basically they're just going to also um, attack looters, and I think they also they also do attack zombies, and so yeah, and they actually will also let's say they attack you, and they also attack animals. Strangely enough, they do they they attack animals. Strangely enough, let me just show you. Uh, da -da 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 uh, cow, bat, uh, chicken. I think they attack chickens. How can you miss from that point blank range? Wow, this guy's terrible. So yeah, also another thing, all these Endermen actually have different color eyes, which I find uh, pretty cool. So 
So anyway, a, no, a much better opponent is actually the Ender Golem. He's a much better one. And he actually does sufficient damage and will also attack you. And he will also go after looters, zombies, and also animals also. And this guy will basically just wreck you. Okay. So let's just get that these two out of the way. And so let's see. So the next one we actually got Ender Mystic Enderman and Ender Minions. So let's just uh, grab a couple stuff here. So basically the Mystic Enderman is just this kind of Enderman who doesn't want to be on the mod showcase. And so basically he has a bunch of special moves and when he dies, crap, he'll give you blindness and death, whatever. When he dies he'll give you a special weapon which we'll go over to later. So basically you also have the... Okay, what on earth is that? So basically here we have the Ender Minion, and this guy will not attack you, and you can actually tame him with apples, and you'll know when you tame because you have like weird red veins on his um, arms. You can actually give him a weapon, and it's actually compatible with other mods, which is cool. You can even give him Big Ber big Bertha if you have like Ore Spawn installed, and yeah, he'll just follow you around. If you have an empty hand, you can tell him to stay right there, and he's like a dog to where um, if you once you attack something, he'll attack you. It's okay. So we actually, oh wait, I forgot. We also have, he's basically the same as the other guy, but he actually will shoot fireballs at his opponents, and you can actually tame him also. Okay, let's just put a couple of these guys there left. Okay, so the last um, three, we actually have two Endermen that have like nothing really to do with the mod at all. I mean, they have no intercourse with them at all. Uh, I mean, they have, like no relations or nothing. This is actually the fan made Enderman. This guy will basically just stalk you and if you touch him he'll actually um, take give you like two and a half hearts of damage and he'll make weird, really weird whispers and stuff like that. This is called the classic Enderman. He actually is smoking and he actually has white eyes. Now the difference between him and a normal Enderman is that he actually has a chance to drop an end portal frame so you don't have to find a stronghold but it is a very rare occurrence and another thing with these um, mystic or I mean green-eyed white-eyed enderman over there he can actually pick up any type of block block like he can actually steal your diamond block actually if you wanted to so yeah also it's important to note that since these guys technically are endermen they actually do take damage from the um, water just like their actual cousins okay Do that. and also I actually forgot to mention that the farlanders actually you can make baby farlanders and you can actually instantly go in with sugar. Let's see. Okay, that's an okay deal. Okay, so this mod actually does add his own boss into the um, mod. And that is called the Titan. Now this guy will spawn randomly. And he's actually a defender of the Farlanders. And he'll actually work with the Ender Golem. But he's a very tough guy. And as you can see, he's pretty big. And he actually has two heads. You could say he's uh, beside himself. Nothing. Wow, tough crowd. So anyway, when this guy dies, he'll actually drop stuff we need for armor. So let's just uh, kill this. And when he actually gets low, he'll actually give himself a huge buff. Now he can only do this once, I think. So basically when he dies, he will drop Titan Hide. And basically that's used for getting to the armor. So basically the armor and weapons. So basically let's just uh, put a bunch of these guys here. We don't really need these guys no more. And so, um, first off, we have the Nightfall Sword. Now, this is from a stick and two Ender Golem horns. Now, this can actually be dropped off the Ender Golem, of course. Now, a lot of these want miss gems and stuff will actually just do what they tell you, like regeneration, teleportation, just tells you what it does, fireball. Now, now the one mo in most interesting one is actually the ore one. And this will actually turn random stone into ore. And this item can only be used on stone or neverack. Huh, that Kind of cool. I did not knew. I didn't know you could use this on Neverack. Let's actually try that. Never, Neverack. Let's just get that and exit out of this because I hate this system. Get that and oh, that's cool. You can only turn into quartz though. But anyway, that's basically this is the my favorite one actually. So the next thing you're actually, um, this little Rebel Farlander helmet will actually drop off Rebel Farlanders. It actually has only the same properties as gold, so there's really like no real reason for it unless it looks a little bit cool. 
So basically, the main thing is actually the Nightfall set. Now, what the Nightfall set actually does is actually give you a bunch of special abilities. Now, this is actually made from Titan Hide and drops off the Titan Boss. So you actually have to kill a boss before you get it. So let's just put on the boots. The boots gives you jump boost. And I have this little, excuse me, I have this little strength thing from actually this beacon block. So let's just break that. So we'll just get rid of strength. And the uh, legs give you speed. The uh, chest plate gives you resistance, and the nightfall helmet actually gives you night vision, which is perfect for like this mod showcase. They, this all of this is enchantable, by the way. And basically, with a nightfall sword, if you have it in your inventory, you can actually get strength. So only, but this only works if you have the full set on. So yeah, so basically, you look like a freaking Enderman. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So let's just, um, also in these villages, um, you can actually find there's actually like pumpkins and melons and stuff. Now the Farlanders are actually come out at night, and this is actually when the Wonders and Looters come out also. So, I, oh, there's a naturally spawning Titan actually. I, I kind of find it funny. They come out when all everything's bad. It is, everything, everything that's wanting to kill them actually comes out. So basically, that's basically the main general structure. These things are actually quite common. They're even more commoner. I've had a couple of wor worlds just testing out this mod and a bunch of other mods. And this was, this one, I'm sorry. This actually village is actually more common than actual villages. So I have a couple of gold stuff here. So yeah, the, oh, I cannot talk. The blacksmith can actually have some pretty cool items. I've actually found like full, I've actually found like diamond armor and stuff. So there's a few more generated structures around, and basically, yeah, see, these guys actually do attack zombies, and I think zombies do go after Farlanders. So this is basically the smallest structure in the entire mod, and basically you go in here, and you can find some never items, if you like brewing and stuff like that. So, okay, so there was a house over here, I believe. So let's just fly over there. Uh, let's see, there's a house. Yeah, I can see the house on the map. I love the Rayleigh's mini-map. It's a small mod, but very useful. Yep, and you can even see um, a little bit of Farlanders are in it. And we can even see there's their Ender Golem. So basically, there's the Nether Farlanders house. And basically, these guy things can basically come in all sizes. And get, get out of here. You're not in this mod. And yeah. Okay, I guess that's a pretty good trade if you can't find any slimes. The, get Let me in the house. Actually, what I thought got when, when you attack them, they actually have like the same properties as villagers and stuff like that. Like those little animations come up their head. So basically, you can find brewing stands, anvils, and I don't, I don't think you can find enchantment tables. But yeah, these things are pretty common, and yeah, there's just a pretty nice touch to the mod. And there's a couple more generated structures which I will show you in a minute. Okay, so this is actually a little personal world of mine, and I actually realized I had tons of these little structures right here. And basically, you can see this one's actually made out of Neverrack and stuff like that. We have a couple of Wanders, I mean Farlanders in here. And there's actually the, a big structure right over there. And this one does, all of these structures also have Ender Golems, which are actually long dead, actually, in this world. But actually, this is one that I've actually took a little bit off, actually. But here you can have um, mossy cobblestone. I just took some of that off. But it is like the second biggest structure in the mod. And here you can find elder farlanders. And uh, basically you can find stuff like dispensers, piston tables, furnaces, spider webs. Basically a lot of cool stuff in this structure. And so actually um, the last structure is actually one I can't seem to really find at the moment. And it's actually just a giant obsidian tower like those in the end. But there's actually a chest inside it. And if you just get lucky, you can actually find There's actually a couple chests, actually. But basically, that's all there is to show this mod showcase. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want more of these, please do subscribe, like, and favorite. For, um, it means a lot to have you guys' support. And I will see you all next time. Bye.